What is a woman? What is a, that's a stupid question, dude. That's a dumb question. What is a woman? It's not a trick question. What is a woman? You can't answer the question with the question. Yeah, define the woman without saying woman. You're in college, paying for an education. What is a woman? How about you talk to someone with media training? Huh? How about you talk to someone? You don't need media training. It's not a trick. What is a woman? You can't answer the question with the. It's the college kids of America going hundreds of thousands of dollars into debt who think it's a trick question when you ask them what a woman is. You are a self-described feminist. What is a woman? Why do you want to know? I'm infinitely Why, wait, curious. What's a man? You're looking at one. So you would describe a man as having short hair, wearing a little popped collar. XY like... chromosomes. Okay. And why do you think that that's important to you? What a man and a woman is? Well, How does that like if, define if your worldview going well, but, forward? So do you, you treat men and women differently? Well, of course we should treat men and women differently, of course. In we, what way? We, we should honor and protect women. And I want to honor and protect you, man. Okay, Aww. great. Do you not you. like that? Um, do you not want to no, be honored and protected? Women are worthy of protection, of course. I think you're also worthy of protection. Thank Don't you. talk down I, to yourself I, I like that. that. Can, can Please. You, can you tell me what a woman is since you're a feminist? I want you to ask yourself, why do you think that it's so important to you that we define man and woman? Like, how does that change if, the way you treat people? If a civilization cannot answer the question of what is male and female, that civilization will cease to exist. Is that is, why the Roman Empire failed? Because all of a sudden well, Aristotle it, it's, it's or one of the reasons why this civilization is collapsing. Because mm. we send kids to go hundreds of thousands of dollars into debt mm. that can't answer the most simple biological question. So then should Time pedophiles go to prison? Uh, pedophiles go to... I do not know what's the best way to handle pedophilia because... No, because how do we know... I don't think that anyone should molest a child, God forbid. But hold on. I really Wh don't. Why, but why shouldn't a pedophile go to prison? What? That's Is pedophilia wrong? Pedophilia I consider to be wrong because it is actively damaging someone else, right? But what if they say they're a minor attracted person and it's pro-social to be with a young person? What, why are they wrong? Do you wrong? know what pro-social means? Like pro-social means, there's like pro-social and anti-social behaviors. It's like a theory of social um, psychology. Pro-social generally means like working together, uh, socialization, you No, know, they're socializing with, with an eight-year-old. Why is that wrong? Okay, that's not socializing and you know it. Anti-social behavior well, usually means doing things that are considered... Um, rejecting socialization, like rejecting other people, pushing things away, promoting uh, things that other people actively end up um, considering less. Um, this is a queer fat club. Um, I'm, I'm queer and fat. Okay, thank you for joining. We're just um, introducing ourselves at the moment. Okay. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, Joe? Yeah, uh, my name's Joe. I go by he, they, and uh, I identify as 275 pounds. Okay, okay. Um, I feel like Jay's kind of making fun of me, though. I know it's kind of a shock. I know, kind of a new thing. I'm, I'm just, you know, monk. Do what? I said I apologize. Oh, no, you're good. Um, are you comfortable leaving the group at the moment? Why? Why? I'm, I'm not understanding why you're joining the group. This is the queer and fat group now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I came here for. Okay. Um, and you said you identify as fat? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is just for fat bodied people. Yeah, I understand. I, I identify as a fat bodied person. I'm not understanding where you're coming from. Are you guys comfortable with me here? I mean, I'm pretty chill on my end. I'm not comfortable, no. Can we take like a vote? I'm gonna ask you to- I want women and men to be equal and like to Why? live in society. Why? <laughs> Because everyone deserves to be equal, no matter who they are. That's not an argument. That's an opinion. That is my opinion. So um, why? Why? I don't f oh, Sorry, I don't know. I wish I knew. I wish I knew why- That doesn't seem insane to you? That you don't have a single reason you can give for why you think men and women should be equal? Not one? Well, I don't know why it's insane for me to just think that- so you wish women got drafted? We're not allowed to go because we're too feminine and we'll delay men. But, but I thought you wanted us to be equal. That's a good reason why we shouldn't be equal because we're different. I mean, anyone on the panel who said they're feminists, can you give me one way that men and women aren't equal in today's society? Isn't there a... Don't say pay gap. 
Don't say French cat. I was just going to say that, yeah. <laughs> so go ahead. Enlighten us. <laughs> so that number There's that you're quoting is they for. took the average of all the wages, didn't control any variables for time, education, salary, time spent in the job, what the job is. And then they said, well, women make 73 cents on a dollar. But if you actually adjust for a lot of those variables and some of the more recent studies they've done, they've actually found that the pay gap diminishes virtually to zero. And in a lot of urban areas, women actually tend to outperform men. And frankly, if Brian could hire the two of us and get away with paying me 75%, why wouldn't he do that? And why wouldn't the entire workforce be basically all female? Like there's this great loophole that corporate America has that you just like get to save 25% on expenses if you hire women. Height matter? It definitely it, does. It does? You said height matters. It does. All right, and weight matters, so step on the scale. Weight matters, but if you're not strong enough to carry me, then bye bye. All right, then let's see. No, I don't want to do that. That's scary as fuck. Why? You're judging guys based on height, so I'm judging you based on weight. Gotcha, bitch! Men need to respect women, period. So you should respect women. Ah! Got it! I am a woman, so fuck you if you don't think Sir. so and how dare you sit up here and try to say that women aren't worth respect I, Fuck you I, didn't say that. I am a woman i just became a woman it's just like are you fucking kidding me people don't even respect me period and i'm i mean i'm already black so it's just like uh yeah that already goes against me anyways but still fuck might, you, might you, you piece can... of living garbage gum on the bottom of my shoe oh my god i wish i had a tissue for the Sir. blood i would Oh. Might I suggest it's your behavior, not because you're black or a woman. I'm an independent woman. I make money. I do no, what I need to do. Not and a... men are truly bothered yeah. by it because they want to provide for a woman. So when a woman already has everything, or that's when they feel intimidated. That's, that's when they feel saying. intimidated. They want a girl that doesn't do anything so they can get her pregnant and keep getting her pregnant and have kids and feel like <laughs> he's a fucking king. The reason why you feel that way is because subconsciously you view the man as less. So then you think that he's insecure based off your financial situation success but in reality you're just projecting you're projecting how you view him and you think that that's how he views you i disagree i actually think that some men are actually very jealous of women because of their independence a man isn't intimidated by a woman like you he's annoyed by a woman like you because a man doesn't want to date another man he wants to date a woman exactly that's competition that's that your isn't ego. competition that's your ego that feeling some type of way because a woman's making either more than you or he's not feeling intimidated by the woman taking on masculine traits he's looking for a feminine girl he's just annoyed by it. like why are you trying to be a man be a woman it's annoying do you think it's okay to transition children yeah. to christianity no do you think a 12 year old should be able to get a tattoo i'm gonna say no probably not a no it's probably too young to make decisions it's a pretty permanent decision they can't make the decision for themselves yet something permanent on their body do you think a 12 year old should be able to consent to puberty blockers Yes, yes, and I understand how that sounds really hypocritical. Yes, it's a permanent change on their body, but I think that at that point in their life, they probably know who they are, who they want to be. And you think so at 12 years old? Uh, yes. What? Yeah. Man, look at, man, hell no. I don't think you can be sexist towards men, and I don't think you can be racist towards white people. How have you arrived at that conclusion? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know, just hearing like all the stories about like all this messed up stuff they did in the past, like I'm not even yeah. black but I have a grudge against them. Are you referring to slavery? Yeah, and just like the treatment of them over time since then, like all the discrimination. Do you think that uh, white people were the only ones who engaged in slavery? So wait, are you trying to like say that like white people were slaves too? Yeah, white people were also slaves. That's where the term slave comes from, is the Slavic region. Exactly. That's why Eastern Europeans are so oppressed even within Europe. I don't know, but I didn't see them oppressed over here that much, like didn't... I don't know. In history, I don't. I don't see books talking about the oppression of white people. Yeah, that's why that's, do you think that's that a problem. Is? <laughs> what, a brilliant, what a brilliant idea! What do you mean, just stop oil? All your stuff is made out of oil, you idiots. Your clothes, these jackets—they're all made out of oil. What the hell are you doing here, making a nuisance of yourselves? It's a joke. What a joke! What are you doing here? Get out the road! You're wasting everybody's time and petrol! All these guys, their engines are running all the time, wasting more bloody oil, you nutters! What is this made out of? What are your clothes made out of? How did your clothes get here? They got here by oil! What are you doing? 
This makes no sense at all, just stop oil. You haven't thought about this. If you want to stop oil, you need to stay at home and go and live in a forest. Facts! It's facts! This is enough facts. These sites is enough facts. There was 40 to 60 year old men <coughs> who only wanted women your age, how would you feel about those I'm not men? surprised, like that ha that it, exists. It exists, but- Just bite the bullet and say sure. Sure. Okay, now let me ask you this question <laughs> back the other way. If she went out and hit on a bunch of 40 year old men, is that creepy? No. Then shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up, bitch! So why would God equip the average woman to be smarter than men? Do you think it's just for homeschooling their children? Again, the claim that you made at first, which is that men and women have, uh, uh, bell curves, uh, the, the men's bell curve being wider than the woman's, would not imply that the average woman is smarter than the average man. Oh, no, no. It would line them the up exactly. The curve itself right? yeah. it d implies or actually indicates that no, it would on just average. Be the extremes. No, right? no, no. Would, if you actually look at the curves at the top, it's women taller than the men's curve. The, the, <laughs> the, but the, the IQ of the curve would be on, on the x axis, right? That's where you get the extremes. So yeah, I think. So you're, are you you're, disputing that on average women are more intelligent yes, than men? I, <laughs> as would Larry Summers, as would the people who have studied this. Uh -huh. gotcha. And who the hell lets you back on this campus? That's a public sidewalk. This is, so nobody invited you here, officers. If nobody invited him here, did we ask you to leave this campus? But like, why is he allowed on our campus if this isn't even like an organized yeah, event? Okay. No, I am not part of this event. Okay, so you're free to go anytime. You don't have to. Yeah, I know. But if he's gonna sit here and say that rape culture is a myth, then somebody needs to sit here and say. Helping the situation by adding to it. <laughs> so adding him, no, no, it's By a adding to it, I no. added to rape culture I by getting raped. Up whatever he has to do. You're not mad. I understand. So if I called you and said somebody raped me, you wouldn't be mad. So have you ever had your house under threat, uh, under threat for with a bomb threat? Have you ever had the FBI at your house have to actually circle your house and have armed guards? So the point is, the point is, we all have individual experiences, but that does not change the fact of the matter that we do not encourage a rape culture in the United States. The rape is a horrible crime. Here's, let's use Brett Kavanaugh as an example because you brought him up. So if I am a hot 25-year-old woman and this 40-year-old man wants me to have his kids, don't you think that he should be providing for us? Does that mean taking you to the Bahamas and giving you $10,000 or? I never said give $10,000. Is that $10,000 a month for you to go zip lining and hang gliding? That's providing for you and the no, kids? No, 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 it's at that dinosaur age, <laughs> you should be doing more than if I'm gonna go have kids with somebody my age. That's just my take. Do you think that a man who is in his 40s, who by your own admission is gonna have more resources than a man at 25, don't you think he'd be better? to provide for your children? No, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Well, then he is doing more. No, I'm just asking you. He's just it, not doing more for you. <laughs> He's doing more for the offspring, just not for you. So... You know, you don't get the pearls, you don't get the big diamond. The kids get the better school, the kids get the better education, kids get the better life. It sounds like a sad life. I will just... I, it sounds like a sad life? 